I'm John Trapolsky, creator and salvager of Roots and Iron based in Chelsea, Michigan. Uh, one of the things that we're asked all the time is what we actually do at Roots and Iron. Uh, the best way that I can describe it that I usually tell people is we actually preserve history. Um, what I mean by that is historic barns, historic structures. Um, we'll go in and actually work with the landowner or the homeowner um, and actually do some dismantling of it, but a lot of it is really just reclaiming the materials. So a lot of the times that converts into a fireplace mantles for a home, a conference room table for an office, um, or shelving even around a house. A lot of the questions that pop up are people are actually asking, how do we get these materials? So how do we get the siding? How do we get the barn beams? Um, really, it's kind of a tricky question to answer because it's always something different. Um, it could be the landowner, it could be the homeowner. Um, a barn may have fallen and we'll actually go out and source in those materials, but we also work with some partners that do the demolition for us. Um, they'll bring it to Chelsea or we'll go out and get it um, really all around the state of Michigan. Sometimes we think about it and say, wow, these structures, even like this one we have here, you know, how, how large they are, how long they've been around for. A lot of these are from the mid 1800s, early 1900s. And a lot of these, these beams are huge. Some of them in upwards of 40 feet in length, weighing two to 3,000 pounds. So it, it's kind of funny when we, when we talk about these buildings and, and how, let's say hefty or heavy these structures are, it actually makes our job pretty challenging just in transporting them. So getting down these barns and moving the materials to our warehouse to dry and in prep, um, showing them to people you know, when we're picking out a fireplace mantle, this usually is a, you know, one to two hour conversation sometimes, walking them through the history, where it actually came from, how it was made originally. We at Roots and I really pride ourselves in really preserving that history, you know, looking at how much time these guys spent to do these, looking at the amount of effort that was putting it, not just from an individual standpoint, but also from a community. You know, an a, a individual may have work to make that one beam, but it took an entire community to raise that barn. So another cool piece of what actually makes up Roots and Iron is our little Motley crew, our little Moonlight Madness crew. We're looking at a marketing guy, an antique picker, an engineer, a pipe fitter, and a handyman. Um, really just the dynamic of us guys, it's super interesting. As a kid, I always remember that smell of just fresh cut lumber and looking at sawdust and ironically enough having your shoes full of sawdust and wood chips and splinters. Um, and here I am, you know, again, 20 years later, going through the exact same thing. So it's interesting how everything comes around, you know, full circle. As Roots and Iron grows as a brand, it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing just the partnerships that we align ourselves with. Um, one in which is a, a custom poured candle that we're doing inside of uh, vintage tins. So vintage tobacco and coffee tins we're doing soy candles in, which will be available here in the next month or so. We've actually partnered with Chelsea Pen Company and Charlie, who's a fantastic young man, who's actually doing custom pens, custom wooden pens from our scraps. You know, we try to reclaim our own leftover material just to make sure that there's as little waste as possible. Um, I'm always a huge proponent for as much time and effort and energy has gone into building these. The least we can do is try to save as much as we can. So when we're hanging up a fireplace mantle, that's also part of the conversations is telling them, you have this piece, there is no other one exactly like this anywhere in existence. Once it's installed, it is remarkable. And then actually seeing this in somebody's home and their face and their expressions, your family's going to be looking at this for hopefully years to come. So. I personally love that fact that really motivates me and what we do in building this brand and expanding our reach and you know having something and developing something for them that again for years they're going to enjoy as a family. So knowing that they value the work that went into it historically now in their home is, is something that we really pride ourselves with.